In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a daily log using an Excel document. You will then learn how to import this properly into the SNAP Plus program. According to the NRCS requirements, any farm that is a CAFO is required to maintain a daily spreading log for all manure or processed wastewater applications to nutrient management plan fields in order to be in compliance. The spreading log is also necessary to complete the required annual reports for the DNR. This being the case, it is important users that are CAFO farms keep the daily log up to date and record regularly daily applications on their farm. Information you will need for your records include application date, driver, field ID, acres applied, manure process wastewater source, spreader volume, number of loads, soil and weather conditions during application, and method of application. SNAP Plus has an Excel template embedded in the program to assist users in easy entry of their data for easy importation. To access this template, go to the Help tab in SNAP Plus. Select Reference Documents N through Z. Click on Template Daily Spreading Log XLS. A blank Excel template will open up. This is where users can enter daily log data for their farm. Before editing, make sure to save the document. Go to File, Save As. Do not try to save under the Save tab. Since this document is a shared Excel document, the user will not be able to save their own copy under this area. Once the Save As box pops up, you can navigate to a location to save your Excel. We will be saving the document under the SNAP Plus Import folder. However, you can save this import file to anywhere on your computer that you prefer. You can also save it on a flash drive if you will be filling out the Excel daily log from other mobile locations. <clears throat> After the Excel document is saved, the document needs to be filled out with information for each application of manure or processed wastewater. This document can be filled out all at once from a record book or over time after each application throughout the year. It is recommended you fill this document out throughout the year in order to have accurate records of information at all times. To get a better understanding of the information needed to fill out the template, we will go through an example. Yesterday, a farmer started his new nutrient management plan for the year. Doing so, he spread his first daily load and records it as soon as he gets done in his Excel template. To start, he will enter the day's date for when the application was applied. He will then write the name of the driver. This can be him or any hired help on the farm that spread the manure to the field. He then will write the field ID. This should match the same field IDs used within SNAP Plus. Every field application needs to be entered individually in their own rows of the Excel template. The next column is acres applied. In this column, the farmer will type in the amount of acres he applied on that particular field. In manure process wastewater source, the type of manure or processed wastewater source will be entered. Make sure that the name you put in for manure sources on your Excel document matches the name of the sources in the SNAP Plus program. If they do not, you will get errors when trying to import. Under spreader volume, the user needs to record how much the spreader used can hold. This number can be entered as either tons or gallons. Spreader data is also entered under Nutrients and Manure Production Estimator in the SNAP Plus program. Refer to this section to understand what data is needed. After this column, the user is asked to record the number of loads that were spread over that particular amount of field acres. The next two columns inquire about spreading conditions. 
Under soil conditions, the farmer will enter what the soil was like at the time of application. This can be entered as saturated if the soil is holding its maximum amount of water, dry or cracked if it's extremely dry and drought conditions, and non-saturated if the soil has equal amounts of solids, water, and air. The user can also type in frozen or snow if applying in the winter months. The farmer will also record what the weather was like during the application in the next column using the temperature and precipitation conditions. In the last column, the method of application is entered. This could be injection, incorporated, or surface application. Repeat this for all field applications for the day. Once all applications have been added and saved to the Excel document, you're ready to import the document into SnapPlus. To do so, reopen your farm in the SnapPlus program. Go to the Daily Log tab. Click on the Import Daily Log File button above the grid. Once the Import Daily Manure Spreading Log pops up, select File to Import. Here you can navigate to the file on your computer and click Open. The Import Daily Manure Spreading Log will pop up again. This will show all the data to be imported. If any errors are present in the data, a dialog box will open with detailed information about the errors. You must correct the data before you can import. For more information on how to correct errors, please refer to the tutorial on editing in the daily log imports. Once all errors are accounted for, select the cropping year you would like the daily logs to be counted towards, and select the manure as your source. Click on the Import to Snap Plus button at the bottom of the dialog box to save the application records to the main daily log grid. A box will pop up telling you if all imports were successful. Press OK. All your daily log applications should now be present in the daily log grid. If you would like to add another Excel document, repeat this process. The information can be edited or deleted at any time. The same process of importation can be done with the daily log with slime applications and fertilizer applications. This is the end of the tutorial on how to create and import a daily log into SnapPlus.